them. I'm off on another medical journey. Well, this time around, we'll start the new story of the proximal tib fib problem. What's the problem? Right here. Chronic subluxation, chronic joint instability. Um, gives me pain all the way down this whole area of my leg. Well, we're in the middle of nowhere, I call it. It's called Moberly, Missouri. Um, today, at a few more hours, I'll be going to the Moberly Regional Medical Center to have a surgery. Proximal tibular fibular dynamic fixation with the knotless tightrope cinemasis fixation to go between the tibia and the fibula head, also with a biosorbable screw. Um, to bring stabilization to this joint that is causing me so much pain. Well, I just want to tie it in. I'm doing great from the SI surgery, which was only back in January. And um, I'm here mobily because I regretfully have to say no other orthopedic surgeon truly would hear my, sto my story. Or if they heard me, however they put their hands on diagnostics or hands-on examination didn't think I had a problem. Well, I've come here to see a Dr. Christopher Maine of Midwest Bone and Joint who wrote a case study about a lady very much like me back in 2009. I found the research on the internet about, about him doing a surgical procedure for a lady that had chronic subluxation, chronic instability of the joint. So I contacted him and I ended up here. And saw him yesterday morning for the first time face to face and he did a thorough physical examination of this part of my leg and he said Kim you've got classic symptoms of this instability without a doubt and he even reviewed my MRI and said if I believe uh, correctly he said there was actually showing like a cyst or like the synovia fluid forming a cyst at the back of the fibula head that he could see on the MRI, even though the MRI, according to the radiologist, was all normal. Well, it is. It gets very swollen around the head of that fibula. So I came here because he heard me. You know, he interviewed me on the phone, and I came here because I wanted help. I've been after this for over a year and a half, trying to, trying to get help. The chiropractors, where I come from, Believe me, I was been chronically posterior sublux, chronically. And finally, my one chiropractor, I had to take him to my primary doctor to tell the primary doctor, hey, she's chronically hypermobile. We don't want to keep adjusting her. But yet, I wouldn't stay neutral. And, and when I could get back in an adjustment with that joint, the pain symptoms and the spasms in this leg would calm down. Especially if I would immobilize and keep weight off of it, the pain would be gone. I thought, wow. And that's, and, I, and, that's due, and that's due to a lot of experimentation over the last six weeks. Due to have my chiropractor adjust it, immobilize it, kind of walk on crutches myself, stay off it. Boy, the pain will be gone. Well, those are all classic symptoms of a joint instability. I have a basically a perfect knee MRI, I would say, for a lady who's 53 years old, just about perfect, perfect x-ray of my knee. And yet, it takes a good hands-on evaluation and Dr. Main maybe it's due to his osteopathic training because he is a I believe a, I believe a graduate of the Kirksville uh, osteopathic medical school up in Kirksville he's originally from this area and then that Kirksville is a town two two towns above us where we're at here in Missouri and, and um, I'm just grateful for that training whatever that he could figure out what the problem is or or should I say I knew what the problem was. It's just getting getting an orthopedic surgeon to believe me and that was willing to believe me and could see and know that they should do a surgery for me. So that's why I'm here in Moberly. We'll do more updates as we get to the hospital and post-operatively. Thank you.